Hello gamers, geeks and gays. My name is Serx and I feel like a complete and utter idiot. Firewatch is not what I thought it was. And bear with me, let me explain. I rewatched episode 2 because I had to edit episode 2. And there were so, so many things that I completely missed, did not pick up on. And now I feel incredibly uneasy. Let me try and explain a few things. So there's, there's a lot of things in this game that don't feel like they're sitting right. They don't feel like things are adding up correctly, right? Numero uno, the teens. We found the teens down at, I want to say Jonesy Lake, right? We found them at Jonesy Lake. Then we had to come back to Two Forks Lookout. So, we took the long way around. We went through Thunder Canyon because there was no way on God's green earth we could get back up that trail because the rope snapped. That means that the girls who were still in the lake could not possibly have got to Two Forks Lookout before us. So it means the girls didn't do this. It was definitely whoever that guy was or something else is going on, right? It wasn't the girls. This whole shenanigan doesn't feel right either because girls, right, uh, two teenage girls having a drink. Where are they going to get the bolt cutters to cut that? And it's not just that it's cut. That is cut quite a significant way down the wire. That would have had to be all the way, like, halfway over this abyss. They can't, they couldn't do that. But it's obvious that they kind of did, because there's a thing here saying go to hell with my face on it on my underwear. So that doesn't add up either. And the other thing. I no longer trust a thing Delilah says. Right? She told us communications were down. She told us communications were down. That's why we had to come and check the cable. Then mid-conversation, we hear her having what I presume to be a phone call with someone else. Despite the fact communication lines are down. So it's either there is someone else there with her. Or something's not adding up. It might just be paranoia, in which case, fantastic job to the devs, because I feel stressed. I've also been told that I can pick up these beer cans. Um, and I can... Oh, wait, I can, what can I do with them? I feel like I could do something with them. They told me I could kind of clear up a little bit. Um, but I don't know if I can clear them up. Or, oh, I don't think I can clear them up. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's a long drop here, Delilah. Can I, Delilah, please come back. How am I meant to... There's no way in hell I'm getting up there. Right, um, Delilah, I'm stuck, girl. Or can I just go over this way? I cannot go over this way. Oh boy, well, which way do we need to go then? Right, so, we're here. Cut com wire. Uh, are we gonna... Oh, we just keep going. We just keep going. Is it that simple? These games are always a lot more simple than I think they're going to be. Because I'm just a little bit of an idiot and that's okay you know sometimes you don't have to be nailing everything that happens um i think for me it was more jarring because in the outer wilds you guys have said that i've done really really well with picking up on random things you know um but i feel like now i am not picking up on the things i'm missing a lot of random things oh, how do i where this looks like I should be able to get down there, though. I am missing something incredibly obvious, aren't I? And I'm going to not quite scream, but I'm probably going to be mildly upset when I find out what it is I need to do. I know we need to head back towards where we started right we need to head back there 
and hopefully find some kind of evidence of what's been going on. But I don't know how we get back down there. I'll be honest. I'm not entirely sure because I... Okay, so we can't squeeze through there. I didn't know to what extent like the, the jumping up and over things mechanics would, would take part in the game, but not as much as I think I need. Can I get down here? Is this going to get me anywhere? Or am I just going to be stuck again? Am I going to be stuck again? Oh dear. Um, okay, that's just me going through the trees. That's nothing to worry about. How... The it, I swear it came up with a thing telling me that I could maybe call Delilah. Oh my god. What do I do? Oh, I've got notes and documents. What? Delilah, now would be a fantastic time to come and give me some advice, girl. Not that I particularly trust you. Oh my god. Right. How the hell do I get back down there? That looks like I should be able to get there. That looks like... To me, that looks like it wants me to go up, round, and then down that way to, like, that, that other cache. Right? Right? Oh my god. I apologise in advance. Because this is not going to be... An easy episode to watch. I swear to God, if there's just something really obvious up at the top where I can just kind of turn left and be happy and fine, I'm going to be incredibly upset. Where the hell do I go? Oh, I've just realised well, I can jog. Do I... Oh my God, it's right here. Right, down we go. I'm observant. And I see everything that happens all the time. I wouldn't miss anything ever. Definitely not. Okay, so at least I've got the, the theory down, with the, like the way that we need to go. So we're going to keep on going. So to Thoroughfare Lookout. Cool. So I could go to a different lookout if I wanted to. There is a way through there. But I don't know if I want to go that way or not. What is this way? Let's have a little bit of... I mean, we're here, right? May as well have a little bit of an explore. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Yep. You do that, Henry. That's the other thing. We're Henry, but she keeps calling us Hank. And I did establish, I think it was last episode, that Hank can just be a nickname for Henry. But I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's the tension in the game, but I feel like there's more going on here than it lets on. Okay, so, we've got the thoroughfare lookout, and we've got, so we're, go we're probably going back to the two forks, right? I don't think we need to go to the thoroughfare lookout. I'm guessing that is where our lady Delilah is living. We're not going there. We need to, ooh, 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 there's something there to look at. What are you, some kind of bag, some kind of backpack? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. I could. Let's swipe it. Brian Goodwin. Oh, it says there, Brian Goodwin's pack. Oh, Jesus. So I've got some rope. I am flush with ropes now. 
That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Cool. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. That's... <laughs> I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. Okay. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. I you guess he went missing. Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. You guys keep in touch? You and the Is that smoke? Kid? Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, what's a 40-year-old woman going to do with a teenage pen pal? Mm, good point. Anyway, so it goes. I will pull that in a moment. With that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Right, so, before I report that big thin column of smoke, which I'm sure is nothing to worry about whatsoever, let's have a look. A fossilized claw. Cool. And we got a stone. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Well, let's yep. go have a look. You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Five Mile Creek, Five Mile Creek, Five Mile Creek. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Hike towards Five Mile Creek. What the hell's Five Mile Creek? Am I being blind? Oh, wait. Yeah, there it is. That's miles away. Right, so I need to keep going down this way. Get back to the lookout. Down. Okay, okay. I think I know roughly what we're going to do. I think I know the rough kind of path we need to be taking. Hopefully, I don't take a wrong one at some point. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? You like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. I still feel incredibly uneasy. There's just things that don't seem like another thing that didn't hey, add up. Oh wait. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. Uh, she's, she's sick. sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Still not sure. Because it's some moment she's genuine. She's, you know, she actually is there and she cares but then there's other stuff going on in the background and i mean she's 
probably got other people like me that she has to talk to. I'm not like the only person out here, I'm presuming. This is a massive area to look after. <sighs> I just... It's either going to be one of those games where it is actually as simple as it looks and I'm just being a paranoid, like, idiot. Or... I'm not being a paranoid idiot. And it is, in fact, exactly what I thought it would be. For now, I guess let's... Ooh, why is it all... Foggy. What's the music doing? What is the music doing? I do feel bad for Henry. Because... He's obviously putting a lot of pressure on himself with what's happened with Julia. But Delilah's right. Sometimes, I guess, a little bit of escapism isn't bad. At the end of the day, there, there isn't much Henry can do. I feel bad for him. I do. I've been similar. You know, I, I've been in these shoes myself. And it is difficult when you have someone that you love and you care about who is in a place that you maybe can't follow. But in the meantime, you just have to do what you can. You have to, you know, look after yourself. Because ultimately, you matter too. And I think that's something that people need to remember. You matter. And your health matters as well. And I'll admit, this place is beautiful. I couldn't think of somewhere better to rest and just kind of get back in touch with nature. I find when I'm feeling down, if I'm feeling stressed, I do often kind of find myself going back to nature. I go on a walk. There's a, there's a beautiful walk near where I live um, up over... Like, a, 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 like the top of a, a valley with a river in it. Absolutely beautiful. What does and... She have? Oh, here we go. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Ah, oh, Henry. I just wish I could give the guy a hug. You know, never be afraid to give your friends and your family a hug, right? If they're ever feeling off, if it's ever like, you know, you know, sometimes you can just tell, can't you? You can just tell when someone's not there. Just give them a hug. And if you can't be there in person, give them a virtual hug. Just let them know you're there for them. Because sometimes all it is, all it takes is being able to talk. You know, like, I'm guessing Henry hasn't really had much of a chance to talk about this kind of thing before with anyone else. From the sounds of it, he doesn't really talk to his friends anymore. He's kind of withdrawn from them. I feel bad now for doubting Julia, because, not Julia, Delilah. But we'll see if I keep feeling bad about doubting Delilah. Also, my eye is still very much weeping from hay fever. I'm not crying. I promise you will know when I cry. I'm an ugly crier. We need to keep going this way. There is something fun about working in the woods as well. I actually do... Not, not the same job, but I do a similar kind of 
vibe job. I work in the forests, I work in a, a local woodland, um, I work in the trees a lot as well, and it is fantastic. If you ever get the chance to even just do one season of working outdoors, do it. Even if you're not an outdoory kind of person, do it, because it will change you. It will. For the better as well, I promise. That seems to be getting quite close. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were drunk, weren't we, Henry? It would be interesting to see how much the other... Oh, yep. There you go, Henry. Nearly there. Nearly there, dude. Doing really well. Good job, buddy. It'd be interesting to see how your different decisions affect the outcome of the game. And that's something that could maybe be quite fun to kind of go back into. I've just realised what, we got that camera, right? But I don't know how to get the camera. And I feel like... It's probably told me at some point. That's a flashlight. Ah, the C button. Right, so I need to remember about this, guys. We need to take some cam some photos. I don't know what they're used for. But sometimes... Just finding a nice photograph could help. I think down here, because this is actually... Somewhere I keep meaning to take like a screenshot. Because it is pretty linear. I miss these. I miss these cameras. When I used to go on holiday, when I was a kid, um, my dad always had his camera and he had like, you know, a digital camera and he had a DSLR. But then sometimes me and my brother would be. Uh, trusted with having um the the disposable ones also why is it suddenly a bit greener today I mean, we're only on day two how can everything be greener how can things do get green really quick by the way right look it's like i said i work in a forest oh my god we missed it we missed it i need to go back i work in a forest I will go into debt to work one day and it will I'll still be able to see the mud on the floor. And I come in like at the end of the week and it is all overgrown. So it does grow really quick to be fair. I just didn't think it would grow like, you know, literally in one day. Right, I'm guessing we can go that way. Yeah, let's let's keep going. We can do this. This kind of direction. Uh, Henry, stop moving for me. Just a sec, buddy. Thank you. Anyway, cameras. Disposable cameras. Good fun. If you could ever get the chance to get a hold of one, do it. They are fantastic. And there's just something about having the actual, like, kind of, not Polaroids, but actual, like, printout photographs. They're just better. They're just cooler. Maybe not better. I do quite like digital photography as well. I'm not a snob where I'm like, you have to use film in your cameras or you're not a photographer. Because that's a load of rubbish. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. <sighs> Sorry for the umpteenth time. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Oh, Fuck Henry. That. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. 
that's always rough. Thinking that you could have done more. When I lost my dad, I, I I think I had a little bit of that kind of feeling where I, I there wasn't anything I could have done to look after him. Because it was it was just, it was sudden, you know. There was no looking after to be done. But I do sometimes feel like I could have done more with the time that I had. But at the same time, I don't regret it too too much. I I am quite content with the stuff that we used to get up to. And I feel like that's why games like this and games like Outer Wilds have kind of really caught my attention, especially Outer Wilds. Because it's kind of teaching me to accept that we only have that certain amount of time, you know. Pinecone, right. So, wait, wait, wait. There was missing persons. Mitch Michaels, 31, 6 foot 2. Short brown hair, distinctive facial hair. It's last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd. He's reported missing on July 29th. He's not known to be familiar with the area. I don't know what date it is. Why is the... I can't tell if that's meant to be Roosevelt or who that's meant to be. I'm not good with American faces. I've got loads of pine cones. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I think we could have done better than that, Henry. Oh my god, right, so where are we? Where are we? We're here. We're nearly, nearly, nearly there. Mad dice. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees oh. are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. This is just... This is just incredible. Like, look at this, guys! I love this game. I think I'm starting to decide that now. I'm loving this. I just look at this. Anyway, guys. That's all I've got time for today. In the next episode, we'll go to the camp and we'll do whatever it is that we need to do. I feel like the tempers have kind of calmed down now. I don't know if that's because I've had a bit of time since we last interacted with the game, but I, I don't know if wrecking the teens camp is going to be the right idea. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble and my random thoughts. Um, this YouTube thing is genuinely really fun. I'm enjoying this and I'm enjoying talking to you guys and building a little community. And speaking of community, if you haven't already, you can join our community Discord. It's a fantastic little safe space for people to just come and hang out and chill. But anyway, thanks guys so much. As always, I have been Sturks. You guys have just been incredible. And I'll catch you all later for the next part of our adventure.